This is the lock picking lawyer and the lock I have for you today is the Corbin model 15191 armored shutter lock. I have it pictured next to its little brother and I use the term little with a little bit of irony. It's an 81 millimeter padlock. Both of these locks are relatively old and made their way to me in their original packaging. I have the packaging for the larger lock right here. As you can see, it's written in Italian, meant for the Italian market, and the lock is dated by the fact that Corbin is still using the M. Hart moniker. It's also dated fairly old by the fact that they're still calling it the Model 151. This exact same lock is still made by Corbin, which is now owned by Asa Abloy, but it's called the Model 281. So, we're going to see how hard it is to get into this lock. Let's take a look at that keyway. It's a relatively tight one that you've probably seen on some Corbins before, and it can give you some trouble if you're not used to it. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway tension and pick off that little bit of warding on the right side. Okay. Oh, and the pick I'm using is the Sparrows SS Dev short hook. It's great for getting into tight keyways like this. Okay, one is binding, got a little click out of him. Two is loose, three is loose, four is loose. Okay, click out of five, back to one, nothing there, nothing on two, three, four. Nothing on five. Not sure what's holding us up. I must have done something wrong here. Okay, click out of two. Went into a false set. Three, counter rotation. Got to click out of him. Four. Okay, getting counter rotation and he doesn't feel like he's set. There we go. I might have set four there. Oh, and the lock is open. Okay, so a little bit tough to get in that keyway, but all in all, not too hard. So this has been the Corbin model 15191. Not so hard to pick open, but as far as the construction, this is a really well-built lock. Lots of nice thick armor over a solid brass lock. It's a thick 12 millimeter shackle in the construction, not too much to complain about, but pick resistance again, just is not up to the standards of the rest of the lock. So that's all I have for you on this Corbin 15191. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.